When you hear the word robot, what kind of robot do you think of? Is it like R2-D2 from Star Wars? Or is it like a humanoid robot that resembles humans? The robots introduced last time were mainly used in the workplace. However, the robots we will introduce today are robots that will be actively used in our daily lives. All About Robots Episode 5 Mobile Service Robots Mobile service robots can be defined as robots that create added value by moving and acting in a specific space without human assistance. To explain their name, mobile refers to their autonomous driving technology, while service refers to the role of the robots. From the outside, we can consider the driving unit as the mobile aspect and the application unit as the service aspect. Let's learn about mobile first. Mobile means autonomous driving. In other words, it means a system that performs and runs by itself without human intervention. Autonomous driving is classified into two large categories, AGV and AMR. First, the AGV runs autonomously based on a guided path. It moves according to various guidance methods such as QR codes, magnets, and rails, and it is mainly used in the workplace. However, unlike AGV, AMR does not follow a defined path but creates it. Next, let's look at the technology required for autonomous driving. The robot's mechanism requires sensors, radars, and cameras to recognize the environment and a motor, battery, and IMU to drive it. For algorithms, it needs the SLAM to create a map of the surrounding environment, localization that detects the location of the vehicle on the created map, and path planning to capture the movement of the vehicle from the current location to the destination. Functions such as software that can run the above algorithms, a language processor that can create tasks, and map editor to modify the map are also required. Isn't it really complicated? Let's focus on just a few of the core technologies. SLAM, Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, is an algorithm that allows a robot to recognize its location while moving and simultaneously creates a map using the data acquired. It is essential technology for autonomous driving. It is like a mini-map in a game. Path Planning Path planning is an algorithm that creates paths to travel to the destination and determines which one to follow. If the robot moves by following a plotted path, it's an AGV. And if it creates a new route for itself each time, it's an AMR. Path planning also performs various functions such as collision avoidance, human recognition, and automatic charging. Multi-robot system. Multi-robot system is a fleet management algorithm to manage multiple robots. By allocating tasks to each multi-robot system, it efficiently performs tasks and manages robot schedules. Next, let's take a look at service. Robots are often categorized into manufacturing robots and service robots. Manufacturing robots can be further classified into industrial robots and collaborative robots, which were introduced in the previous episode. Unlike manufacturing robots, service robots do not produce goods. Instead, they directly deliver value to people. To put it simply, everything that happens in our daily lives, other than the workplace, is related to service. Examples include cleaning robots, medical robots, pet robots, and social robots. Among the various service areas, there are some areas where the introduction of robots is attracting attention. According to a report on service robots released by Macquarie, the service robot market is expected to grow significantly, with the biggest being logistics and then medical, reception, and food delivery among various services by 2025. Accordingly, Hyundai Robotics developed the Uni series for the mass production of mobile service robots. Uni is the prefix for unique and universal, and Uni is a special robot that can be used for various applications. Uni incorporates the sound hardware and precision control technology of Hyundai Robotics, the leader in domestic industrial robots for over 30 years. The hotel amenity robot is capable of moving between places with very uneven ground levels without spilling the items loaded onto it with its excellent ability to overcome slopes and vibration control. Plus, with KT's 5G Link, it is possible to perform high-performance, high-precision work with ultra-high latency. The robot's features include customer service and elevator control capabilities with the Giga Genie. Additionally, the robot can perform delivery services up to 140 times a day for 24 hours. 
Late last year, Hyundai Robotics launched robots for food and beverage services. The F&B service robots provide services such as serving food and beverage to customers and cleaning up afterward. It also supports a tour mode that delivers water and napkins to customers and an information mode that guides customers to their reserved seats. This year, various applications, including luggage carriage, guidance, quarantine, and cleaning are being planned. Furthermore, Hyundai Robotics is developing an economic and universal driving unit. The company aims to mass-produce mobile service robots in Korea by helping various companies apply their desired services. We have been learning about mobile service robots. Thank you for watching. Thank you.